When I started with Marvel, I was in school. My parents knew Al Jaffe, and he said, oh, does he have any interest in comic books? And the next thing I know, the phone rings, and I pick it up and say, hey there, true believer, this is Stan Lee. And I'm going, wow. So I hear you want to work for Marvel Comics. Yes. The interesting thing I realized writing the X-Men is I always had a sense of where I was going. And that was the thing I learned, I guess, from Stan. Mm -hmm. You know, actions have consequences. They do. Stan had a mantra. There are three rules. Get your book in on time, make sure it's good, don't be a pain in my ass. Any two out of three, you got to keep your job. For me as a writer, I want them to fall in love with these characters. I want them to see them as real echoes or parallels with their own lives. His work is so character-oriented, and mine is so character-oriented. I think that's one of the reasons that we're very simpatico. The key was creating characters who were as relevant and real to the audience as I could make them, put them in situations that everybody could identify with and recognize. What makes all the mutants and X-Men so beautiful is that we're all different. The kind of outcasts. But we joined together. Beyond the fantasy of these characters, there is something intrinsically human about them. Here, you have the chance to be part of something much bigger than yourself. Forget everything you think you know. You're not kids anymore. You're X-Men. When the very first X-Men came out, nobody saw it coming. The very first X-Men changed comic book movies. The thing about X-Men that separates it from a lot of the other superhero movies is the emotion that is found within the relationships. It's just really exciting to be a part of something that people have loved for generations. We couldn't ask for better, more dedicated fans. The history of the franchise, I hope, will be a legacy that we satisfy the legend of these characters. I play Professor Xavier. Jean Grey. Magneto. Raven. Cyclops. Storm. The whole cast really elevates the material. I hear you're quite an animal. Look who's talking. Make no mistake, my brothers, when the air is still and the night has fallen, the question is, who will you stand with? And there you go.